We also have a Kente Comics mini exhibit featuring original art by the father of Philippine comics, Mr. Tony Velasquez. So come on over and let us celebrate our rich cultural heritage with comics. My boy si Kenkoy, my boy and comics. Hello, brother. What's up? What's up? What's up, What's up Susan? Hello. <laughs> What's up, Linda? Hey, man. <laughs> What's up, Magdani? Yeah. Buti. Ano? Ano po uh, dinagrow niyo ngayon? Si Madam Madam Musi. Ma Madam Rudy. Tingnan mo napakaganda ng model natin. Ayun. Ay, tingnan natin ang uh, napakaganda ng drawing ni Madam. Lock po. Uh, uh, model. Ayan ang Miss Under the Earth. May ibang klase na eh. May Miss Earth na eh. O, nasa ilalim siya ng lupa. Ay, sa ilalim ng lupa. Uh, we're here at the uh, SM Manila for their Independence Day celebrations. And, uh, it's uh, we're fortunate that uh, we're invited to showcase comics, particularly the 90th anniversary of uh, Kenkoy. Yeah. And uh, can you tell me what we're looking at? Uh, yes, uh, we have a mini exhibit here. Uh, this, these are 1930s originals uh, by the father of Philippine comics, uh, my grand uncle uh, Tony Velasquez. Okay. All right. And this is 1938. These two here. Okay. And then this is 1937. So uh, these are original uh, colored art uh, by uh, uh, Tony Velasquez. Yes. Yes. Uh, and it's special this original art? Na ba? Uh, yeah, yes. Because this is the guide na, na mga, sa color because during that time, the uh, color separation, because during that time, the uh, yung color separation, the method dila of uh, publishing comics, eh, yung, when it comes to color. Because it became very, very popular na ang Kenker. First, when it was first released kasi black and white yung Kenkoy, Saluay Y eh, very very popular na yung nga, buti nagkaroon na ng color yung parang Archie Comics na yan. so yun yung naging ano sa yung Kenkoy, album ng kabalbala ni Kenkoy yun yung complete title 